Hi guys, it has been a while since I posted. Let me look into the camera lens. I'm just checking my hair out. Um, I think it's been about four weeks or something because the last time I posted, I think, was just before my 12 week scan. So let me get you up to date with what's happened. Um, so yeah, 12 weeks, I had my 12 week scan. And then when they do that, they kind of, they check for three things, like three different syndromes, Down syndrome and two other things. And it's just a screening test, which means that they use the data from the picture, your blood test, your age as well. Um, Cause you know, if you're older, um, you have a higher risk of, <clears throat> you have a higher risk of um, getting one of these syndromes, right? So anyway, I uh, did that. Then I get a call two days later from the hospital saying that, oh, that I'm high risk for one of the syndromes. And it was really, uh, I don't know, I started crying, Sha. I don't, I think it's because I was a bit fed up and I was just actually trying to leave. Like I was trying to leave London because my flight was the next day and then they were telling me this. And I just thought, oh great, I'm going to have to go in for further tests or whatever. So they tell you you're high risk and you have different choices. And one of your choices is to get an amniocentesis, which is where they stick a needle into your stomach to get amniotic fluid from where the baby is. And um, the problem with this, sorry, my boobs are so itchy. This is one of the things that happens. What's well, happening to me anyway. And um, one of the things is you basically, you might have a miscarriage, that's the risk. But it tells you 100% if you're high risk or whatever, whatever, whatever. Anyway. So, um, but then there's another test you can do which um, costs quite a bit of money and um, it's also a, kind of like a screening test so they check your bloods and then they do an in-depth check of like the pictures of the baby and all of that kind of stuff. Anyway, so I did that the next day and I came back to Lagos and um, yeah, and I'm just so happy to say I give God all the glory that everything was fine, everything came back as low risk. So I was really, really happy about that. Um, so I'm now 16 weeks. I'm four months now, four months pregnant. So there's a little bit of a bump. I mean, well, let me show you. How do I manage this look? Do you guys see? There's a little bit. Uh, yeah. So it's starting to look. Okay, you can see it more now. So. It's starting to look less like I ate pasta and more like something's really going on down there. Um, let's talk about people, shall we? Yes, let's talk about people. So since coming back, what's happened? Things, I mean, it's like ups and downs. The weather is, the heat is much. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's really tiring. I'm not as tired as I was. I'm not having like naps in the afternoon and also because I live here and I work here. Um, I'm actually able to do stuff, but um, what's happened? Like people, the whole guessing and whatever. Look, just a word of advice. It's not that people don't want you to ask. It's about having some tact because look, you don't know if someone's had a miscarriage. You don't know if someone's been trying for five years or 10 years or 20 years. You actually don't know because it's actually very personal. I have no issues with telling you if I am, but I have just had a lot of people recently come to me or send me messages and it's very um aggressive is not the word it's like ugh, it's so obvious like how are you gonna tell me it's obvious when first of all you haven't seen me secondly you're just going off of me just saying something like oh i don't want to wear that i want to wear something that's a bit freer excuse me before i was pregnant i used to wear free clothes like things that were free and loose and all that kind of stuff. So all oh, this, I mean, I know people have been speculating for a while, um, like on my social media, I always used to delete it, like, cause for about, ever since I got married, people have been speculating, so over a year. But when it's people you know that are sending you messages and they're like, oh, it's so obvious, you know, like I wasn't born yesterday. It's a bit like, okay, well done, clap for yourself. Like, why do you have to be cocky about it? If you just came to me and said, oh, by the way, okay, no problem, whatever. Um, but are you, you know, I hope you don't mind me asking, are you? Then no problem. And also like, if you're not like close to me, close to me, I mean, I know Nigerians are generally nosy, no shade, but like, we some nosy ass people. 
I mean, and the thing is, I'm not even like that. That's your business. If you're pregnant, don't tell me it's your headache. Even if it's so obvious to me, as if you don't tell me, it's none of my business. But it's just, just have some tact when you're asking because, you know, it's not that no one wants to tell you. It's just that you just don't know what's going on in their life. You don't know if, if stuff has happened. Like, you know, I've mentioned a few weeks ago I had a scare. Then there was this whole syndrome thing as well. And then you're now coming to me and saying, it's so obvious. If something now happens, will, will you be there to hold my head when I'm crying? No. So why do you want to know? <sighs> All being said, everything's fine. I have to show you guys this. This is the truth. Okay, here. I now wear jeans with an elastic waist. Yeah, it is the way. There's no button. I try to wear my other jeans. Like, first of all, I can't even do the button up. I can't zip it up. It's hell. Um, I miss wearing fitted stuff. I'm not going to lie. And when I wake up every day, to, I, I seem to be... I'm basically arriving late to places because before I would get dressed really quickly. But now nothing is kind of fitting. So it's, um, it's getting a bit hard to mask. Um, also, my eating is just it's still bad. Like, I don't want to eat any vegetables. I'm just eating carbs. Like, just carbs. This place is really hot. The AC is on. Mm. Yeah, it's just really hot. And um, my hair, so I went to the hairdressers today. My hair is nappy. And then it's the whole, do you relax, do you not relax? The doctor told me it was okay, then you're paranoid. But like my hair, the texture changes as well. The texture is so hard. It's harder than it normally is. It's like, you know, why could my texture change? Why couldn't I have like soft, curly, mixed race locks, you know? Uh, but yeah, the hair thing, I don't know what to do to my hair. If I do braids, it pulls the front. If I, a weave is too hot just you know it's just weird but apart from that everything's okay i don't feel um well i didn't feel nauseous anyway but i, I don't have really bad indigestion because that was happening at some point um i have a bit more en energy now that i'm in the second trimester um i've spoken about people what else has happened yeah so i mean i think people are just guessing which is fine because it's going to be obvious kind of soon but <laughs> The last time I wore something that I was able to tuck in was when I went to this grey event. Um, so you can take a look at the picture. Uh, I went to this grey event and um, uh, that they were having for their new collection and they dressed me in this really nice outfit. This like peach blush, no it's dark on the blush but it's peachy, anyway, very nice colour. Um, skirt and top. And I tucked it in and it was high waisted so you know it wasn't like cutting off my stomach. But cha. I couldn't breathe after an hour. I had to leave. I had to make up an excuse and leave because I was like, oh, so that's the last outfit I've got where it's been cinched somewhere. I will not be wearing anything cinched till towards the end of the year. But um, yeah, so I'm just trying to like focus on work, focus on what I can do before I travel again. And um, yeah, everything's good. It's just hard getting dressed. It's hard. Like clothes, everything just looks weird. Oh, how could I forget? Makeup. Sorry, I'm really sweating. Oh, goodness, it's flipping hormones. Makeup. When they're making me up, like the foundation, the wet, it makes me feel sick. The wet, like with the sponge, the wet. Like when it's wet, do you know what I mean? Like. It like literally makes me feel queasy and I'm just thinking, oh, and I have this program on Saturday and I'm thinking like I have to put makeup on because I've got a wedding afterwards and oh, it's just not, putting on makeup is not fun. Like powder is okay, but the, when it's wet, oh, I'm really sorry. My boobs are so itchy. It's gosh, Ooh, man, you guys are sweating. Okay, let me finish up. Other thing is, what do I normally use? I normally use olive butter from Body Shop as my body cream, but the smell, let's say the stench. The stench, smell is getting, it's getting on my nerves, it's getting on my last nerve, like, it makes me feel sick. Even if someone uses it near me, I'm like, mm. it just smells weird. And then people with perfume, like I can't wear perfume at the moment. It's just too strong. Smells, that's what's going on now. Smells, of, the smell of stuff is just nasty. Um, so that's it. Um, I'll speak to you guys soon. And um, yeah, so how much weight have I put on since I started? So I was 50 kilograms uh, when I got pregnant, which is the heaviest I've been ever. 
so that's one thing in itself and then um i'm now 51.7 for month four so i think they said as the baby gets bigger now the is this camera wonky oh it's too late because it's like been 10 minutes i've been talking anyway that um uh what was i saying pregnancy brain pregnancy brain um i can't rewind this thing i'll find out so oh that um as the baby gets bigger the more weight you start to put on or something like that it's just gonna be interesting to see what i look like hopefully it'll just come out this way i'm not gonna come out like this way um yeah so apart from that everything's good and um yeah so i will speak to you guys soon bye mm -hmm.